Okay, how about this baby right here? Uh, 1 over n squared plus n. Uh, we're trying to practice our integral test. So the way we do it is we check we check the conditions. The conditions are, if I can show that it's decreasing and I can show that it's positive, then it behaves the same as the integral version of it. Uh, the reason it's decreasing, well clearly it, n, n squared is less than n plus 1 squared. Yeah, I'll be more careful this time. Um, so therefore n squared plus 1 is less than n plus 1 squared plus 1. So therefore 1 over n squared plus 1 would be greater than 1 over n plus 1 squared plus 1. This tells you that a n is bigger than a n plus 1, which tells you that it's decreasing. Check. That's how you usually check. Again, there's other ways that you can check decreasing. This one, you can almost look at it, just say by common sense. Um, it's decreasing, or you can get fancy with first derivatives and whatnot. All right, uh, that shows that it's decreasing. Then we need to show that it's positive. Well, that's silly. Uh, n is positive. Again, we only care for large n's. So n could whatever, uh, 5 or whatever. Uh, this is a positive, positive, positive. Of course, they're all your n's are going to be positive. And that's all we need. That's all we need so that we can say, uh, what else can we say? When we check these two things, when we check that it's decreasing and we check that, the minute you check these two items right here, you check that it's, they're decreasing and you check that they're positive, that guarantees you these, it guarantees you that they both behave the same. It guarantees you that the corners don't affect convergence. The corners that make the difference between the smooth curve and the cornery cur curve, uh, the, the little corner errors do not matter. As soon as you check these two things, that's what it means. And so they both converge or both diverge. So now we set out to handle this integral. And of course, to handle that integral, uh, you could just do a little, um, I don't know. You could do a little, let me see, uh, from 1 to infinity, 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. I reckon that's a famous one, arc tangent of x from infinity to 1, which is equal to pi over 2 minus pi over 4. All right, that's fine. That converges. So this one converges. Therefore, we can conclude that this one converges by the integral test. Okay? These two conditions tie them together. They said they both converge or both diverge. And the actual computation of this one said is this one converges. And then we're done. All right, come back for another one. See you guys.